Inside the Tesla Crash Lab Tesla's so-called Crash Lab does what it says in the tin – send vehicles into walls at high speeds to test and improve their safety. But what does it take to be one of the most revered test labs in the world? Let's take a walk inside Tesla's Crash Lab. Trust me, you will be surprised at what technology can do. Join us in the Tesla Crash Lab for a rare glimpse behind the scenes. The work our engineers do here is one of the reasons why Tesla vehicles are among the safest on the road. That's what the official website of the company reads. The nightmare scenario for any car occupant is being involved in a crash. In that case, you want the vehicle you are traveling in to offer the best possible protection so that you can walk away unscathed. Tesla's all-electric Model 3 in 2018 earned the Top Safety Pick Award from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS, and also received an excellent safety rating from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA. In October 2019, the automaker offered a peek inside its test lab in Fremont, California, where work to enhance the vehicle's ability to handle collisions helped it pick up the accolades. However, you don't get crash test accolades without breaking a few metaphorical eggs. But in the automotive world, you can't just crack these eggs wherever you like. Dedicated vehicle crash testing requires a specialized facility, as the one Tesla has hidden in a nondescript building not far from its factory in Fremont, California. If you didn't know that Tesla has a massive crash test facility in California, don't feel bad. Only a handful knew it existed until 2019, when Tesla offered a peek inside the top secret facility. Tesla never revealed much about the facility and hasn't even been clear about its specific location. But it's in Fremont, not far from the company's factory. Or indeed various other Tesla logoed buildings that have sprung up in the surrounding locality. This building, however, has no such branding. The crash test lab lives with a nondescript warehouse, a far cry from the massive, purpose-built structures used by other global manufacturers like Volvo. Indeed, there's a sort of bare-bones, underdog feel to the place that's pretty consistent with the company's overall vibe. But at a close examination of this lab, you'll soon realize that everything has been pieced together with a generous dose of ingenuity. In fact, the best demonstration of this is the mechanism that drives the car to be crashed along the track to its final destination. Cars are mounted to a skate that's propelled by cables. But what pulls the cables? Most facilities rely on massive purpose-built engines or motors. Tesla's solution is a bit more fitting. A pair of Model S Performance rear-drive units bolted to the floor and connected to a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. Together, the system provides 1,200 nanometers, about 885 foot-pounds, of torque. It would still be easy to dismiss this as a bit of cobbled together salvage yard picking, but while the motors were indeed salvaged, that wasn't the only goal. This system provides Tesla crash test engineers with incredibly precise torque modulation. On one end, this enables smooth acceleration of the test car, ensuring the Hybrid 3 test dummies belted within are not dislodged. On the other, this system provides the exact speed required for a given test at the point of impact, measured to an accuracy of 0.023 miles per hour to 50 miles per hour. Instead of moving components into place on the assembly line, the robot arm now spends its days flinging dummy heads and limbs at doors and fenders. As noted by a Tesla engineer, Prep work for the physical tests begins long before a new safety feature is tested at the crash lab. Well, in advance of us producing a physical prototype, we're running thousands of computer-based crash simulations, the engineer says. At the design level, we'll produce 3D models of the parts, and we'll simulate those using very complex and sophisticated mathematical models that represent the physics of a crash, he continues. Tesla says on its website that the ability of its vehicles to handle collisions effectively is partly due to the rigid, fortified structure of the battery pack that is mounted to a car's floor, which provides a vehicle with exceptional strength, large crumple zones, and a uniquely low center of gravity. It adds, while no car can prevent all accidents, we work every day to try to make them much less likely to occur. Active safety measures come standard on all Tesla vehicles, made after September 2014 for an added layer of safety beyond the physical structure of each car. That same sense of creative repurposing applies to every area within the facility, including a pedestrian crash rig made from a Fanuc or 2000 IB robot arm repurposed from the factory. Instead of moving components into place on the assembly line, it spends its days flinging dummy heads and limbs at doors and fenders. There's also a custom-assembled array of hydraulic pistons designed for the specific purpose of finding the breaking point of Tesla's custom-designed seats perhaps the most important single component in the overall safety game. And just what is the breaking point of a Tesla-engineered seat? 
According to the company, the middle row of a Model X can handle at least 96 kilonewtons of force. That's over 21,000 pounds. While Tesla subjected the Model 3 sedan to hundreds of physical crash tests in the lead-up to its launch and continues to demolish even more as various updates are made to the platform, that's nothing compared to the tens of thousands of simulated crash tests performed on the machine during its design and development. While not as visually exciting as watching a real car run into a real wall at speed, simulation is an increasingly valuable tool, saving both time and money. These are finite resources in any organization, but especially precious for a relative upstart like Tesla. The company relies on a high-performance computing cluster, deploying upwards of 144 CPUs for a full vehicle crash test simulation that can take more than a day to run. Simulation is far from novel to Tesla, but the company's reliance on technology has significantly increased since the days of Model S and X testing. Model 3 components were first run through the simulated gauntlet way back in 2015, a year before the unveiling of the production car. Because of Tesla's tight, vertical integration of nearly every aspect of vehicle production, the company's designers work closely with those running the crash test simulations. There's a constant dialogue and exchanging of digital models back and forth. That same dialogue continues through to the manufacturing process. Individual components, whether produced in-house or sourced from suppliers, face a rigorous series of tests to validate their individual, real-world characteristics, such as tensile strength and ductility. This ensures their performance matches the simulation. Given that Tesla's seed factory is also just down the road, manufacturing revisions happen in short order as well. In most crash test facilities, the spectator area is located far away from the impact zone itself. Not so at Tesla. At about 50 feet from the crash track, approximately 200 feet from the impact zone itself, there are concrete blocks and a wall of lex and glass between the spectator and the test vehicle accelerating towards a 200-pound concrete barrier that marks the end of its journey. From this slab, Tesla engineers can bolt a variety of different receiving crash test shapes and structures to simulate frontal, side, or even angled impacts. The automaker has been early to recognize the safety advantages of electric vehicles and maximize them. Tesla's vehicles benefit from optimized frontal crumple zones, thanks to the lack of a big engine block at the front of the car and a low center of gravity. There is a large battery pack at the bottom of the chassis, which also reinforces the structure of the vehicle. On top of its passive safety features, Tesla has also implemented many active safety features by leveraging the development of its autopilot system. Several Tesla owners have claimed that the automaker's dynamic safety features have saved their lives by avoiding crashes. The company's test lab is one of the best the world can boast, but still, there are several adjustments expected in the future as the automaker always tries to better its machines with every single release. So there you have it, inside the Tesla Crash Lab. Do you also think that much money shouldn't be invested in crushing cars? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications.